my first memory was I was about four years old, and we went to the Hopkinson Theater, which was very close to, it was like a short bus ride. It was a Yiddish theater in Brooklyn. And I'd never been to the theater before that of any kind. And the curtains parted, and the reds were redder than anything I'd ever seen, and the blues, were, the colors were magnificent. I couldn't get over the colors. The play was a love story. I don't think I understood it. Not to understand Yiddish, but I understand love. I was a little boy. It didn't matter. I loved the colors. I loved the lights. I loved where I was sitting. And then we went all the time to Second Avenue and to and also to Hopkinson whenever there was a mother love theater. And we went with her to the theater a lot. And then later on, of course, I learned there was also Broadway. I never knew there was an English theater. It was, theater was a Jewish thing, you know. Uh, but we went to the theater a lot. And, uh, and, and Yiddish movies also, because we had a lot of Yiddish movies playing in those days. Well, of course, there's Molly Pekin, and there's Maurice Schwartz, and uh, there's a, yeah, and Herschel Bonatti, the young Herschel Bonatti, and Karina Felder, uh, and uh, yeah, a lot of them, but I don't know if I have it. It isn't, it isn't the, these films weren't that great. Maybe the Dybbuk was great, you know, and uh, there were a few good ones. Most of them were really B-movies. It's what they preserved, uh, the, the streets, the body language, the clothing, the gestures, the, 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 the language. And so when I look at these films, I'm looking at them for, not for the, much for the, the art artistry, though sometimes it's there, I'm looking for a way of life that has by accident been documented on film. Especially those films made in Poland, these people knew. When, when, when Norman Jewish made Fiddle on the Roof, it's, it's Jewish life is seen through the eyes of a non-Jew, and it's nice, it's a wonderful film, but something is missing. And when you see, uh, when you see a Tebya the Milchakir, which is the same story as, as you know, and, and with Maurice Schwartz, you just know that this is how life was. This is how my grandparents lived their lives, my great-grandparents. And so uh, uh, I love the Yiddish films because of that. It's like my mother telling me a great story. I just would go, be, my jaw would drop open, my eyes would get big, and I'd just sit there, and I'd just let it wash over me. I just loved it. I loved it. You know? But I still do that when I see a great movie today. You know, I, I feel the same way. I just love being told a good story.